When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the saved on earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Good morning, guys. People are resilient. They're going to find ways to still, you know, still visit and, and, and to care for each other, love each other, and minister to each other. All righty, good morning. Good morning, everyone. You want to turn me up just a little bit there, David? Uh, good morning. It's good to see everybody this morning. Thankful for another wonderful day. The Lord has blessed us to be able to gather together to worship, to lift up his name. We do have our radio, LFM transmitter. If you want to go ahead and tune in to uh, 87.9, 87.9. If I thought I did something that maybe one of my church members perhaps caught the COVID-19 and, and, and died from that, I don't know how I could live with myself. So I came to that conclusion and said, okay, we're going to close the doors because I can't, I can't risk that. And that's when I said, hey, what can we do? And then the drive-in church just all fell together. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Thank you. All righty. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Thank you so much. We do have a few announcements we want to share this morning. Uh, we do want to say we thank Mrs. Cobb. We have, I think she says, 14 more masks that she has prepared. If you need one today before you leave, let us know. And we'll see that Bron or someone gets these to you. So we appreciate that. We do want to ask if you're a visitor today, would you blow your horn? How many visitors we have? Oh, all right. Got a couple. Got a couple. Glad to, glad to have you all. On the first first couple of Sundays, I was almost in tears watching everybody pull in because they wanted to, you know, to be here to to uh, hear the, uh, God's word. I just hope people will not just forget it and go back to life as normal. I think that God uses, not causes, but uses things like this to help us to see how fragile life is. You know, you miss being able to get out and just hug your friends and stuff, but it's still been nice, you know, it's, 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 it's about, you know, coming to church is about, you know, getting spiritually fed and, and that's what we're still getting to do. That's the, the important thing. And you can kind of come, be comfortable and, and you know, go with no shoes. <laughs> He's always barefoot. Yeah, but I, I've got shoes in the back if you want to see them. <laughs> I had elders when I was a younger preacher, a younger pastor. I would call and say, hey, I need some advice. And, and I had pastor friends that would always say, well, you know, we've encountered this. But now I have um, younger pastors. I teach at a Bible college and, and, and have some younger pastors that will call me. And I have no answer. I mean, I'm saying, well, I've never faced this before either. That's why the hour in which we live, we see a lot of, a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, a lot of things. That I, don't, I look at the, at the news and I just don't trust anything that I hear. But my trust is in Jesus Christ and the Word of God. And we as the church, we are to be that example, guys. We are to be that example. David, if you could turn me up just a little bit. Give me a little bit of volume. If you wasn't awake, you are now. Amen? That's, that's the good thing about having outside service. Amen? You adjust as you go and you make a boo-boo and you continue on. Makes you look at the building. I'm thankful for this, this building, but it is just the building. I know some of the pastor friends have talked about, um, you know, here we're, we're having to do car church, we're having to do the drive-in church. And I, I never viewed it that way. I always looked at it, we're, we're blessed to be able to have car service. We're able to, to have the drive-in service. And, and to me, I don't see it as a persecution. When I, I, I hear some of the guys say, well, you know, we're being persecuted by the government, they're forcing us to do this. In churches in America, I don't know that we really know what persecution is. And if something happened and we couldn't have the drive-in service, we're going to do something different. But we're still going to continue being the church. Hope and pray you have a wonderful week. Yeah, you can too. Go right ahead and too if you enjoyed the message. But anyway, we appreciate you this morning and we 
just uh, looking forward one day to getting back in the church. But until then, I just, just appreciate you. Be safe going home. Tell someone about Jesus. God bless you.